Um, right, you want to talk about tonight's football? Let's talk about tonight's football, matey. Boring hell. Yeah, it was a tough watch for an hour. Oh, honestly, that game needs to be banned from the Premier League. <sighs> right, honestly, whenever I watch that game, I feel like falling asleep. Yeah. It's not it's, a great game, no, is it? No, it's not. Everton Palace, Monday night. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, a, it's one of them, isn't it? It's a stinker. Yeah. It's a stinker of a game. Last, once, Last 20 minutes were all yeah, right. Yeah, once Palace scored, Everton then had, had a bit of a go. They're lumping balls forward. You know, they create a few chances out wide. Calvert-Lewin, mate, I can't believe he hasn't scored since October. He don't look like he's ever going to score again. No, he looks a bit like you tonight. up front at the moment, doesn't he? Oh, mate. He, he had to, one of them's a really good chance. Um... But yeah, you can see why they're both down. I mean, I, and it's a better point for Palace. Um, yeah, well, they got injuries. Their two best players, Elise and, right. and Eze, are out. And you know, obviously, Roy's looks like he's left the club now, hasn't he? And yeah, new manager sort of coming best. in. Um, and I actually thought Crystal Palace were okay for, in parts yeah. of the game. They looked good in the first half without really hurting yeah. Everton. But uh, Au's goal was a really good goal. Great strike. I thought they looked quite yeah. free flowing. Um, I mean, Everton are not Everton are no. bang average, aren't they? Well, right, so, doing? so I'm working fun? out now. Right? I'm telling you what I'm working out. Right, so Everton at the moment, every game they're getting zero point eight of a point. Talks every game, breaking news. Right, every game. Right, right? okay. So they played. They played twenty five. So there's right. another thirteen left. So times that by thirteen. So Here they're going to get another ten. They're going to get another ten point. So that the most they can get, right? The most I think Everton can get right. is thirty-one points, just based Talk on what we've seen so far. News. Right? Okay. Z- 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 actually, it's it's thirty point four. But I'm going to round it up to give them a little bit more of a squeak. That's right? so just thirty-one point. I think I'm right. right. Okay. I'm arithmetic, by the way. So that puts them on thirty-one. So by that, Palace only need six more points. Forest only need. Seven points. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yes. But you, know, you think about that, and that one is only going Everton and Luton. It, I, I think I don't think anyone else is going to get dragged in. I think it's going to be between Everton and Luton, mate. Forest and Dyson with death. I think they'll have too much. Um, Oanye scores goals. Palace looked all right tonight. Brentford have too much. I just think it's one from two, mate. Well, you think it's just between Everton and Luton? I think it might be, mate. Yeah, I do. And I think if I had to put a pound of Cundy money it right now. I'll go Luton to stay up. I've been saying Luton all season, but I really don't want to see Everton go down. Why not? Why do you care? Well, I like Everton. No, I like Everton, but I mean, well, well, I, 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 Jack, it's going to make no difference to you. If they it, get relegated, the next morning you wake up, you won't even think about Everton. You wouldn't give them, you couldn't care less about them. <sighs> no, I wouldn't. No. Just slaughter them, saying how boring <laughs> they are. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, let's go to Robert. He's an Everton fan. All right, Rob? Evertonian. It is a thing, it's copying an uh, Rob? <laughs> Rob? I'd rather, like, it play. I mean, What's the first that? caller. What's the first, first caller? He's not even talking to us. Who's he talking to? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> What's wrong with these people? No idea. All right, let's go to Jack. He's an Everton fan. Jack. Hey, you right? I'm right, right Jack. Jack. <laughs> So I'm still laughing at that last bloke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, look, Jack, you've, you've, you've got a point tonight. Um, it wasn't great, though, is it? It's not great to watch at the moment. I was doing my accounts at the same time, so uh, I had half an hour in the game. But, uh, yeah. Uh, more more interested in doing the accounts, wasn't it? Uh, both were sad results, to be honest. But, uh, <laughs> counts for what? So, uh, no, no well, but this was our chance to bring, the, bring them into like a relegation battle. Mm-hmm. You know, we get three points, that we're two points away from them. You know, they, they, we get away from Luton, Luton are scoring goals, we're not. You know, we're getting these little scrappy draws here and there. And I don't know, I, we'll end up doing what we did last season where, you know, it literally goes down to the last game and someone does some wonder goal and we love them and don't want to sell them. Mm. But we're running out of players to keep. You know, every 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 transfer, I just, I, you know, I don't want to, I, I almost turn your app off. Mm. I don't want to see Talk Sport tell me that we're going to lose Braithwaite or yeah, Anana's right. off to Arsenal or something like that. Well, I think you're right, Yeah, mate. we've got to do it, but... I don't know. I mean, this. Jack, have you been doing the accounts and running a marathon? You're not saying that uh, out of breath. No, sorry, my uh, my kids are in bed, so I've been told to go walk around the block. <laughs> Brilliant. So you've been kicked out the house. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, so the missus uh, is yeah. like, get out. You want to on the phone to talk sport, go for a walk. Yeah, well, I mean, I was ranting about it, and she was like, well, just go talk to someone about it. So, <laughs> can't ring you guys. <laughs> Bang those two idiots up on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I, I get what you're saying. Um, you're getting... With, the points deduction, obviously, has made it look a lot worse for Everton. Yes. But the problem you've got now is, is because you're in it, you're getting judged on the fact that you're in a relegation fight. Yeah. And you look like a relegation team now all of a sudden. And actually, really, you haven't been. No, you should be have a 10 point. Yeah, well, yeah. But yeah, you know what pressure like, does to you? People say about like West Ham, that when was the last time they won a game? You know, they've got the whole... They've, West Ham aren't going yeah. down though, are they? No, 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 no. They're okay. definitely not, obviously. No. But what I'm saying is, if you... I'm just saying over the last sort of say six weeks, not six weeks, you know, sort of three months or so. When you look at the results through the teams, our form, yeah, you know, there are other teams with bad form like us. For some reason, we managed to get some points at the start of the season. Don't know what's happened to us. You know, I think you look at well, yeah, but I think we, apart from that Man United game where you know we said it would be a bare pit, and all of a sudden it was like and actually scored that wonder goal. You just think, yeah, that, that was a painful, that was a painful game to watch. But then. Bounce back where I think two or three good games where we either won or got really good draws from. So I don't know. I, I don't know where we're going to be next season. I, I hope we're going to be in the Premier League beating you lot, but we'll see. Yeah, um, Jack, what are you going to do now? You're going to you're going to go back home. Go you're going on, to mate. say you you spoke to them two numpties and you know we've got it off my chest. Oh, I'm into this walk now. I'll see how far I can go. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a pub close by? <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's closed down. I don't even want to go in there at the moment. Oh. That's how bad things are. Doesn't he want to go into a quick point off the game? Uh, well, I, know, I keep getting the keep getting kicks Everton kits for the birthday and uh, they keep getting cheaper and cheaper. Uh, Mate, are you going to stay up, yes or no, Jack? Yeah. Yeah, well, go on then. Well, go on then. Go on, go on then. You, yeah, go on then. <laughs> I'll give it a go, are we? We can't just sit on our back and... That, point, that ten point it. deductions absolutely yeah, killed them. Because yeah. they, they'd be safe and hose, home and hose by then, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's making, what, it's when, making sorry, it. what's going to happen with Forrest and, and them again? I don't, no, I don't know. I think that's happening soon, right? We're I don't find know. Out. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I think there's a, another really? hearing okay. where... Yeah. Yeah. I think for, uh, Nottingham Forest could uh, get a few points as well. Uh, Jack, thanks for being cool. Let's go to Tom. He's a Crystal Palace fan. All right, Tom? Good evening, gents. How's it going? I'm good, right, Tom. Tom. I'm good, mate. Um, actually, thought Crystal Palace played okay tonight. Looked looked better. I, I thought we did. Before before we talk about that, how much annual leave do you get, O'Hara? Me? Honestly. <laughs> what do you, you mean? Know, you've got you've got you're out the office more than you're in it, mate. <laughs> I I never take a day off unless I go work. Literally every, every weekday morning, I go on Instagram, Jamie O'Hara's story, and you're in another airport. Tom, got got to pay, you got to pay the bills, mate. You know, got, got to pay the ex-wife. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. Oh, he's gone there. Come in, come there. Yeah, fifty percent gone straight away. <laughs> no, yeah, we we were we were better tonight. It's disappointing we didn't hold on. Um, I mean, Everton were there for the taking. I thought, I mean, especially first half, it was it was really quiet. At Goodison, and I felt like I mean they just looked nervy, and um, yeah, you know I mean we got the goal, and obviously the onslaught came after that. I said before the game I'll take a point. Obviously we've got the new manager in, so I can't, you know. Obviously of course you'd like three points being one nil up, but you've got to be realistic away from home in the Prem to mm -hmm. a, a team like that. You know you've got to respect the point, I guess, haven't you? I don't know. What do you so boys it's think? It's a good point yeah. for you. It's a better point for you is, is for them. It keeps yeah. that that, that yeah. little bit of distance. Um, between yourselves and 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 Forest and as Everton as well. It's... Well, without Elise and Eze, they've looked awful, and tonight they looked all right. Yeah, he, went, he played three at the back, didn't he? Had wing backs, so you, you look. Elise and Eze. Yeah, without them. Oh, without them. Yeah, without them. You've without them. Yeah. Yeah, them, I mean... you've lo without them, you look awful. But tonight, without yeah. them, you looked okay. Yeah, we. we I mean, again, it was. You've got to look at the opposition. That's that's a really poor Everton side. I think we played, and it, it, you know, I think. Against the good side, we're, the trouble is yeah. without them too. There's no creativity. Wow. And goal, sort of a bit of a smash and grab. But, yeah. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, no. I mean, look. I think the the aim now is the season's done. If we finish 17th and we stay up by the skin of our teeth, preferably it doesn't go that way. But let's just stay up. We've got the new manager. Go mm. again. Hopefully, he gets a bit of time to implement his style. You know, the next sort of you know couple of months. Um, yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm delighted with that. I'll take that. Point. Do you know much about the new manager? 
I don't. I was reading a bit about him. It's interesting, actually. Obviously, the the thing that stood out was he's qualified for Europe. I think since every season since 2017, and he obviously won the Europa League 2022. Mm. Um, the only thing I will say, I'm a little bit sort of, I guess it's like cautiously optimistic because I read an article that was talking about why he left um, Frankfurt and a couple of reasons. One was like lack of investment in the team, which, mm. you know, we're notorious <laughs> for. Yeah. Um, and also he dug out some of the younger players, which, you know, we've, mm. we've always done that a couple of times. Isn't he? So I was a little bit like, mm, you know, that sounds a bit familiar, but I, I don't know. I, I, the one thing I do think surely in the discussions that he's had with the club, they've, you know, they've given him, I don't know what goes on in those conversations, but they must have given him assurances on, you know, budget or, or, or some sort of idea of like mm-hmm. where, what the project is, right? He's not just going to take it, um, uh, you know, on a win sort of thing. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. No, it's, um, look, it's a big job. It's Crystal Palace they're in the Premier League. You know, they're an established football club. It's, a, you know, I think he's been a good manager as well. So, yeah, I think Parish must have sat down to him and said, look, we need to start this season, but next season we want to do things a little bit differently. So yeah, it's different yeah. from when Roy came if, in. I wonder if, he, if they've said something along the lines of like, I mean, obviously I hope uh, Eze and Elise stay. Personally, I'll be delighted if we keep one of them. I think we'll do really well to keep both. But I yeah. wonder if they've said like, you know, if them two might go, you've got free reign to spend the, the funds or... Maybe. Whatever. I don't, yeah. who, we, we really, we, we don't know. Do no, we, we don't. No, but, no um, it'd be very different yeah, from Roy. Roy was told, you, you could tell, just keep us up. And this season, it feels, because actually last season, they weren't playing bad football under Roy when he went in there. No. They, they, they well, the shackles attacking. come off. Yeah. But this season, it's been a little bit, it's like, it's like stay in the league football, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, but and that's yeah. always what Crystal Palace are a little well, bit. They, you know? they, they I have, think the fans want to have a bit more ambition, don't they? And, and why not? And yeah. why not, mate? And uh, I think you might get that with his new manager. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, well, you, you, you can imagine. He's not going to just I go in there and say, I remember, I remember his team, I, you know, mm-hmm. watching that. Yeah, and it was yeah. a good side. Yeah. They were a good side. So maybe it could be exciting times for him. We'll see what happens with him. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.